I started learning origami in the seventh grade. It started out just as a nervous habit, something to occupy my hands. But then it kind of became something else. So, do you have a dress yet? You know I'm not going to the Valentine's dance. <laughs> I know, but... But I'll still talk about it with you. Do you have a dress? Um, no, but I do want to have like a little black dress moment and I printed this out and I have like makeup and jewelry and everything. Um, this would actually look really good on you. Hmm. Why do you always print everything out? Because it's cute. <laughs> You can hold it, it's paper. You it's can nice. hold your phone, boomer. Okay, You're wasting I, trees. Can I practice this on you? Yeah, okay. Okay, lay down. Thank you. Okay. Do I have your consent? Yes, doctor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Super basic. Okay. Um. Stop, <laughs> stop moving. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, it's done. You look so good. Okay, go look. <laughs> Rocco? Mm -hmm. What time is it? Either really late or really early. <laughs> the Earth. We are in orbit. We are. Whoa. What? Nothing. We just orbited really fast. <laughs> <laughs> Is this for a seed? Yeah. Why do you keep this shit? Because I fucking hate ebooks. <laughs> <laughs> no, because paper's just better. It's real and you can hold it and I like collecting things that I do because it's like, you know, documenting that I was here. We weren't really close when it was going on, but in like seventh grade, 
I deleted all of the voicemails off my phone. And my mom used to send me these voicemails every day. Oh, they were so annoying, I never even listened to them. But when she, um, when she got sick, you know, I realized that I didn't have any, like, evidence of her anymore. the pictures of us are from when we were really little and it was like she love is real without documentation or confession even that stuff stays with you it's magic too Do you promise that we'll still be friends even after we move? Do I have to sign a contract or can we just pinky swear? (laughs) (laughs) You looked really pretty today. I don't really look like a girl. I only feel like a girl when I'm around guys. When I'm around you, I just feel like a person. guys if it weren't for this couple getting stranded in this cabin for seven days nobody would have found the killer's notes because because this... why'd you pause it it gets crazy i have a proposal to propose raquel you don't call me that Rocco, i'm being serious um are you interested in mysteries yes this one stop it <laughs> i mean mysteries in your own life well first i'd have to have a line not your best line <laughs> not, not your no, best work yeah. um, no, I'm, I'm being real. Um, I have an unsolved mystery. Do I look like Scooby-Doo? Don't be I... mean. Please take this seriously. There is something, um, there's something I have not told you, and there's something that I, I haven't told anyone about it ever, because it seems really small, Brie, like, what it are you seems really about? dumb. Just, okay, um. Okay. I, I've never told anyone about this because for one it seems like really small and like not I mean, a big what deal are you but talking about i have a dhd <laughs> um, i have um a secret admirer a guardian angel really it feels like every year on valentine's day which is coming up i have been getting these really adorable folded paper origami um, yes they come at the most perfect and random times. Like, I feel like every year I'm just waiting to see if I'm going to get another one or if they're going to leave a hint about who they are. So you and really like them? Yes. Okay, come here. Um, I've kept every one of them every year that I can remember. Have you ever opened them? Why would I do that? Uh, well, I, I have some know. notes on <laughs> <laughs> some of them. Um, like this one's from junior year when I was in basketball tryouts and it was really bad. Yeah, really, um, yeah, I remember. It was really sweet. It was in my gym bag. And I, I feel like, you know, before this year, I've never actually wanted to figure out who they were from because it feels like it was supposed to be a secret. So you don't you know? have any idea? Well, what if I'm like, disappointed? I have an idea of who I think it might be. Who you hope it is. <laughs> Jackson. 
You really think Jackson Pozzelli well, made you yes. these? Yes, I mean, look, we're really good family friends, and my mom loves him, so, you know, like, she could be helping him, like, put it in my bag and stuff. I don't know, like, we've been in the same homeroom every year since sixth grade. Yeah, because both your last names start with P. Rocco, you know he has liked me genuinely forever, and I know for a fact he's asking me to the Valentine's Day dance because he told me last week that he's been working on something for me for a really long time, and what else would it be if it's not the hearts and the dance? I don't know. <laughs> if it he seems asks like... you, are you going to say yes? Well, yeah, I just want to... Go to the dance. Do you even like, like him? with a date? Well, yeah, everyone thinks he's really cute. I don't know. But do you? I, look, the dance is not a marriage proposal. Like, it's not. Yeah, that an anonymous even paper heart is. I don't see how Jackson and the hearts and the dance can all be connected. I, I thought you didn't want to conspire with me, Scooby Doo. Whatever. I... Rocco, why are you getting pissy about this? I want to figure it out. <sighs> Just help me. This is the last chance I have to ask if it's been him because he's going to college in Colorado and it's like. I don't know, it's not like any of this shit's gonna matter when senior year is over. If he wanted you to know, you'd know, like you said. Why not just drop it? It would be so satisfying if it was him. You know what I mean? Like, imagine this, like, big, elaborate confession in front of everybody, and, like, you know, the story of him making me these hearts, like, would totally go viral on the internet if we posted it. You are such a hypocrite. Why know. are you pretending to care about this shit? <laughs> you don't even have social media. You don't... Like, you don't get it. You isolate yourself from everything on purpose, but I don't. All right, I'm a senior and I've never even held hands with a boy. Everyone is doing all of these things and it's like, I'm getting left behind and... <sighs> I'm lonely. Yeah, everyone's lonely. Okay, and a compulsive great, boyfriend isn't going to fix so that. Loneliness is a part of growth. Why don't you go write the sequel to Walden then? Like, Rhea, I, I just hate that you would me. settle. I'm not settling. You're right. You're performing. I really thought you would be a lot happier that I shared this with you. And it's like, what? Are you that upset that Jackson could be making me these hearts? Are you jealous or something? I'm not. They seem like they're supposed to be anonymous, right? That's a part of the magic, and it shows how much this secret admirer, like, cares about you. Why can't we just enjoy the purity of some things, loneliness included? Going to the dance with a boy you don't even like is just the start of a never-ending need of validation, and it's a cop-out experience. Bree, people can love so selfishly, and, and you've been given this gift that has no expectations attached to it. Why ruin it? I'm sorry, I don't enjoy the pain of the human experience like you do. At least I can say that if somebody likes me or loves me that I'm not afraid to ask for proof. I want to ask Jackson if he's been making me the hearts. I want to go to the dance with him. I might even date him. I don't know. I honestly couldn't care less what you think anymore. And Rocco, you're not noble for choosing loneliness.
Yes, of course. Did you make this for him, by the way? Because I I've been getting it for so long, and I wanted to know you guys Yeah. Oh, come on. Let's take a picture. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Sometimes I wish I had asked to feel her heartbeat too. If it was beating like mine was, that would have been everything I needed to know. Tangible, physical proof. But any response or movement would have acted as a confession that I wasn't ready to make. And one she probably wasn't ready to hear. The next morning we didn't talk about it. We never did. <laughs>